Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this uh, video, I'd like to show you how to set up a Gmail account with the expectation that uh, you have a need to send very large files. And uh, typically it would be zip files. You have them all packaged up into a nice little package. And uh, a lot of email programs, uh, the, the problem with a lot of email programs and sending uh, attachments with the email programs is it really bogs down the server with very large file sizes. And uh, what this does is it uh, kind of does a little go around in this. Um, instead of uh, putting an attachment in an email, what, it, what you do is you take that extra step. You're going to upload these files onto the Google server with the Gmail account and then send a link in the email so that the recipient of the email can click on that link and download those files. So let me show you how to do that. If you go to gmail.com, you won't get a screen like this if you haven't signed up for uh, Gmail. But I already have a Gmail I already created, so I already have my inbox already showing up here. But what you're going to see when you go to gmail.com is going to be a red button over here that's going to allow you to set up a Gmail account. Got you for, for some very basic information, and then after that you will see a uh, start screen here, probably uh, with a couple of emails in here introducing you and uh, welcoming you to uh, Gmail. So once you do that, when you're ready to see an email, what you want to do is you want to go to Compose. And it gives you the ability to, I mean, this is just a standard email format here. Uh, you have your, uh, who you want to send your email to, the subject, and uh, the body of the text is going to go down here. So we're going to send one to uh, myself, Chris at Fetchboy.com. And uh, this, uh, you know, for the title is going to be Gmail Test. And uh, the body of the text I'm here, I'm going to call that Gmail Test. Also, Probably no uh, additional information either, but the real important thing yeah, is uh, down here where you see the attachment button. If you go to the attachment button, it gives you a couple different options down here. The one most notably we're going to look at is this next one down here, which looks like a recycle symbol. Insert file is using drive. What that does is it gives you uh, this extra dialog box. And there's two things you can do here. You can go to uh, your computer and drag files into this area, which is convenient. Or select files from your computer. I'm going to go ahead and select files from my computer. I'm going to click on this uh, image down here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, upload that. So as soon as we uh, click on that, I'm going to go to upload. It's going to give us a progress in the upload. And it's ready to go. So after that, uh, you can double check your email to make sure all the information is put in there. What you see down here is a link. And if you go to send, you have a couple different uh, uh, options down here in regard to sharing. So it says this drive isn't shared uh, with, a, with a recipient. Change how this file is shared on drive. Anyone with a link can, and there's a drop down button down here, can edit it. You probably don't want them to edit your files necessarily. Can comment or can view. Now if you're going to be sending files to, to me as a recipient, you do want to make sure I can edit and download. So let's go ahead and choose that. And then we're going to go to share and send. So if you want something as proprietary, if you just want to have something that uh, somebody else can just view, uh, the view option might be good there too. So let me go to my Outlook and see uh, what we've done. So here's my Outlook program. I'm going to go to send and receive. Sometimes it takes a few minutes for that email to get here. Okay, so there it goes. I've already sent myself a, a Gmail test a couple times. But this is the latest one if I go ahead and click on that. Uh, here's uh, here's uh, the email. Everything I put into the email before is now here in uh, Outlook. And uh, here's the link. If I click on that link, if it's a large file, it's going to show it down here. If it's an image, which it is here, it'll open up that uh, you know that image uh, for that um, you know the Aquas Hardware Jesus group meeting that we had back in May. You can see all that Weber giving this presentation down here. So that's how you do it. An image will open up, but uh, a large file format, especially a zip file, will give you the ability to download and uh, open it up within um, the Outlook program. So, that's all I have to share with this one. Uh, please join me for other videos.